So we're going to be talking about herpes zoster ophthalmicus related optic neuritis in neurop. So of course, herpes zoster is not really usually a diagnostic dilemma because they develop a vesiculocutaneous eruption in the dermatomal distribution in, in HZO of V1, but it can be any dermatome, including thoracic dermatomes. But the one that comes to us is HZO, herpes zoster ophthalmicus. It's diagnosed with the classic cutaneous vesiculo eruption in that dermatomal distribution, and it can get in your eye. So it can cause episcleritis, keratitis, conjunctivitis, anterior uveitis, posterior scleritis. The way it comes to me is when they don't have a red eye, they don't have anything in the front, and they have optic neuritis. This optic neuritis can occur at the same time or later after the zoster because there's this infectious version of it and the post-infectious version of it. The treatment, of course, acyclovir and steroids, even though there's not enough cases to know in a prospective randomized way whether this actually makes a difference, but I think we should treat it. Can't just give steroids because we don't want to disseminate the infectious zoster if there's active replicating organism. Can't just give acyclovir because there's clearly a post-inflammatory component. So you have to do both. You're going to do an MRI and you're looking for the distinctive finding enhancement. And we're going to do a spinal tap to make sure they don't have HCV meningitis. After they recover, you've got to answer the question of whether they should have the vaccine or not because Herpes zoster infection does not confer lifelong immunity. It just goes back into the ganglion and lives there, and it can come back again to get stressed out or have trauma or whatever. And you would think that the vaccine would make it less likely that you're going to get a recurrence, but weirdly, at least for the recombinant herpes zoster vaccine, even though it's more efficacious than the attenuated live, the vaccine might make you more likely to get a recurrence. So you have to tell the patients that even though we think you should be vaccinated, there's this paradoxical response to the vaccine. And probably that means it's, it's an immune modulation effect. Vaccine is supposed to boost your immune system to attack the virus, but sometimes it attacks you. And that means we still did not resolve whether HCO-related optic neuritis is a reaction to the zoster or is it the zoster itself? And the vaccine suggests that maybe it's your body doing it to you. And that's why you need both acyclovir and steroids for the uncommon finding in the very common disease, herpes zoster ophthalmicus.